Well, first of all, it's really difficult to determine the hemodynamics of the patient by just looking at them. You know, we look for symptoms, and some patients who, uh, who come in may be severely impaired due to repeated strokes or um, uh, transient ischemic attacks. So those patients may lie, maybe have some compromised cerebral circulation. So we, we are very concerned about how we manage them perioperatively. Certainly in those patients, uh, we admit them the day before to make sure that they receive accurate amounts of fluids prior to the induction of anesthesia and also the, um, the surgery itself. So uh, it depends again on their symptoms. Many, many patients come in with minimal symptoms, although they had, had a report of a, a mild stroke or some uh, limb weakness, which may indicate some degree of um, um, compromised cerebral circulation, but not constant like some of the others that are constantly stroking prior to the surgery. So again, we see a wide variety of patients here and we just tailor each anesthetics and our, our approach to them according to what their uh, clinical presentation is.